This video is intended for adult collectors only. Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh, I sound a little bit far away. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. And next on reviewing for the series four of the Rainbow High Dolls, it is Coco Vanderbilt. Yes, I love her. If you know, then you know. But if you don't, let me tell you, blue is my favorite fucking color. Cool colors are my favorite so much. And when Miss Coco Vanderbilt came out, bitch, I knew that she was going to be my favorite. It's a, it's my favorite blue, too. It's like this cobalt blue. Bitch, she's so beautiful. I love her so much. The death of me, to the death of me. She is, I am going, I'm like, I'm going so hard for her. She, she's my favorite. And she has brought us, ooh. She's, she could, whoo. Now this doll was my favorite, favorite, favorite when the whole the whole line leaked, when the whole the whole set up kind of showed up, all the lineup showed up together, and her outfits too, it's like street race kind of influence, and it reminds me of just like '90s like films. Um, they were they were just so specific and they were just so good and that's what she reminds me of so much so let's just go ahead and get into it shall we let's just go ahead and get into it so here she is this is her beautiful box here wow and she's now we're get, heading into like the purple pink packaging okay so no more no more yellow green blue no more yellow blue i think it was more like yellow bluish now we're heading into the purple pinkish kind of packaging which is so adorable and here we have her second outfit and here again now we go back oh now we have miss beautiful mina and then it goes all the way around to mila that's so cute i love how different that is and then on the side here there we go it says coco is a digital media focus is this show like trying to be a manager or something at least in the show wow so cute and then the og background here Whoa. so let's let's take this girl out let's take her out i'm so excited her stand here is this nice blue color with glitter on it and it's more of like silver glitter so before we had more of like a gold glitter but now we have some beautiful silver glitter and here she is fully unboxed in her first outfit miss beautiful coco vanderbilt 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 i don't know but Here's her quick little description. Coco Vanderbilt majors in digital media at Rainbow High. She's always networking and is always on the next big thing. She has an eye and ear for great talent and her goal in life is to be the best agent, manager, promoter, and hype woman the world has ever seen. At Rainbow Vision, nearly all contest contestants are her clients. I know she's been trying. She's been busting her ass to get some and clients bro the whole show i was rooting for her. i'm like how can you not want her as a fucking manager agent promoter hype woman okay she she does it for you um but i love her so much she is so cute ah. that blue is so gorgeous so let's just get into it hurry hurry come on if we get a little closer to her here we see she has some glasses um, but if we look in the back of her hair, it looks like her hair is in these cute little ponytails. And I just noticed her hair is not just blue, girl. There's like some purple, and I'm pretty sure the, the camera is picking it up. There's purple. Like, do you see this purple here? I don't know if I like that. I get it. I get what the purple is there is to give depth and dimension to her hair, right? But at the same time, I'm like, mm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <gasps> Guys, I don't know about that. That makes me really sad. Either way. But her hair right here, she has two little ponytails. It's the same thing that What's Her Face Del Delilah had, where she had two little ponytails up in the front. Not all of it, but just a half. And then she has her hair. Her hair is just so disgusting and hard because of box, the packaging, the display. It's so... Look at this. Santo Dios, that's so nasty. I can't wait to wash it. And then, um, it looks like she has 
if you can see she has some braids yeah it looks like she has some braids on the side and then she has some hair being looped up right there or looped up or covered up covers up the little rubber bands oh santo dios i'm gonna go ahead and remove her glasses so we can take a closer look at, at her hair so let's just or her face so let's just go ahead and try to oh i thought i had to use scissors but clearly i do not oh maybe i do these are her glasses here. I love them. I love them. Look at these. They say RH and then RH backwards like a mirror effect. And then there's like little studs on the top. And it's kind of like this black with blue kind of like an indigo kind of fucking color. And it says rainbow on the side. These are fucking badass. Fuck. Badass. So taking a look at her face, it definitely looks like mine has been very much scratched up. Which is so unfortunate. You can see there's just so much damage, some scratches here, and there's just like some hair here. Like, uh, the quality control. Maybe it's just the packaging in general. It just doesn't look good. So I'm going to try to clean her up and maybe um, do something about that. So apologies for the way she appears. But let's get into her makeup and her face. She has thin eyebrows, all arched. Um, she definitely has a different face mold here. Her eye shape is a little bit different. Her nose and lip shape are different as well. And I don't know what her the shape of her face is. I don't know if it's similar to like um, Mila. But it doesn't give that much Mila. I think it does. It's a very square. So I think it's like a square mold. Um, but obviously a different, different eyes, different nose, different lips. Um, so it's definitely not the original circular shape that we're used to. It's a definitely a new head shape. So that's really, really nice. Um, her skin tone is definitely a cool tone, obviously, because it goes really well with her, with uh, the blue and the silver. Uh, so I like that. But also might be neutral. I'm not sure. Let's try to get some gold in her in here and see. What do you guys think? I definitely think she's more. Um, of course, she can look good in anything, but I definitely think she's more of a cool tone. And then for her skin tone, she's a more bronze color. I'm I'm basing it off of the skin tones palette here. So she is not completely a chocolate color. She's more bronze or maybe espresso. Espresso, I mean. I love her skin tone though. It looks very good with the blue as well and the white. It just does very well. And of course, this beautiful girly comes with brown eyes. And she looks so good and I love all the catch lights in her eyes. Uh, she's so gorgeous. She's so beautiful. And then her makeup here is like this baby blue, big graphic shadow. And then it has some white liner details in between. And then we see some nice sparkle on the bottom. Barely on this one, but mostly on this one here, we see some nice glitter sparkle. And then we just see a really thick cat eyeliner. And again, we have those little fake lashes. Oh, this eyebrow. These eyelashes are thick. But it's kind of hard to, the the eyelashes here are a little bit weird on this eye mold. I noticed that too with um, Mina. They're just a little, that's just a little weird. You see that? Like right here? It could just, it could just be me. But what do you guys think? Her lips are, it's like a nude lip. It's very, very cute and it almost has like a glittery lip gloss on top of it. It's very nice and metallic. I'll try to zoom in a little bit closer just so y'all can see. Wow. It, it's very, very beautiful. Aside from all the marks and stuff, I don't know what's happening. But um, yeah, it looks very, very nice. And then on the side here, I think maybe this side shows it a little bit well. We see some light blushing, not too much but it looks adorable okay i'm very sad that her face is all scratched up here because it looks like almost like her you can't even see the blush here it looks like the blush is totally gone from this side so i'm not sure what's happening and i'm not sure how to fix these little scratches if anybody can tell me how to fix this that would be greatly appreciated but yeah her blush is just like gone on this side which is kind of unfortunate and i didn't notice that when i first picked her out I think I was too busy looking at the lips and the eye and the eye makeup and she just had the best one out of all of them but at the expense of all of these scratches I guess on her face which is so sad. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. 
I've noticed this an issue in like darker skin dolls um, and I just don't know how to fix it so if somebody can help me that would be really great some advice in the comments below I'd appreciate that but anyway since we're here we can take a closer look at those little pigtails or <sighs> they look so busted um, but this is how it's supposed to look. I like that though. I like that they're giving us an extra detail in the hairstyle with the little braids. Um, I am going to anyways end up redoing her hair so it doesn't matter. But you know when for like the kids and stuff. It's really nice. And then her, her baby hair. It is actually two tones. So you can see here we have the light blue and then we have a darker blue which is just gives it's just so cool that to see that so maybe on Jules she did have two tones as well I just wasn't seeing it and they seem to be placed pretty well on the mold so that is super nice all right so here oh this looks busted I don't know so let's go ahead and take a look at these earrings here they're actually really 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 nice let's zoom in a little bit hopefully we don't lose focus they are really cute just some regular silver hoops that say r and i'm assuming the other side says h a little dangly charm that says h yep pretty cute pretty simple love that i love hoops like this so cute oh that's so cool look Instead of it being like a, a little gem that kind of hooks it up, it actually is treated like an actual hoop earring. That's so cool. I love that. I love that so much. Yes, it's about damn time, bitch. Did any of the other dolls have that? No. They usually have like the little thing that sticks to it to remove it. So I love that they gave her an actual hoop earring. Yes, bitch. That's what you deserve. That's right, Coco. Andale tu. So now we're going to undress her, taking a closer look at her first outfit, and then um, dress her into her second one. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I want to start off with her shoes. Also, do her legs look like two different tones? Is that just me? It just looks like it in the lighting here. Um, but her shoes, they kind of look like football shoes. I don't know what's happening here. But there is just so much detail in these shoes. It looks like there's also different kind of fabrics or different kind, yeah, different kind of fabrics based on the mold that's happening. That seems to be going on in these shoes, different kinds of blues. So we have like this one right here and then we have the tip in white and then we have a big RH on the bottom of the sole. Then on the side here, wow, there's just so much, there's literally so much going on in this shoe. We have, it kind of looks like, again, like a, like a football, like a sports, sports, like, um, protective gear. We have, like, some, some overlapping of different fabrics here. This is, like, the same, I don't even know how to explain this, but we just see, like, this little harness or this little back piece here covering all the way around. I'm assuming that this is supposed to represent, like, fabric. We have this, like, little silver piece on top that reads rainbow. And yeah, it, I don't, there's just so much going on with this shoe. I don't know how to even begin to describe it, but I love all the colors. I love all the details. I love the RH at the bottom here. It's so cool. And then the back here says RH and it has like this, that black little strap on it. Super cool. Super cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this second layer here we had the top but i'm just gonna go ahead and first focus on this one we've seen this kind of style of shirt all over in like trends and fashion and whatever the f is in and i love that they kind of gave her this again she's very much inspired like by motorbike culture or the motorbike aesthetic i definitely see that mixed with a little bit of sports kind of stuff but mostly like just motorbike Moto, moto, mami. Like, that's what I get. I know that's a, like, Rosalia song, but that's what I'm getting right now, okay? That is what Coco is giving. And I love how it's a simple long t-shirt, like a crop top long sleeve, but then we get the really nice details with the different stripes going in different directions here at the end. We got the circles here. Um, we have a different shade of blue, and then we have a really thick collar. I like it so much. I kind of want one in real life, you know what I mean? And then this is the back here. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this beautiful top here. Now this is supposed to be inspired by, I forgot who did it here, but it's supposed to be inspired by like that that top that's made out of shoes and 
that's exactly <laughs> what this is here. As you can see, this is like the shoelace, and then this is the this top, and then the tongue is supposed to be in here. This is the side of the shoes, and I think that's super cute that they gave us that for this doll. Like, it's if you look back, if if we move forward in the future and you look back on these kind of pieces, just like we do with Barbie and Bratz, we'll see very much the fashion of the time, and this. This is very much respective to that. Am I saying these words correctly? I do not know. And then on the side here, let me take this off just so you guys can see. It looks like we have um, we have the straps here. They're just like ribbon straps. We have two of them. I think they kind of loop. Yeah, it looks like it loops into it, which is really nice. I love the security of that. And the side here, it's like this pleather material, like a baby blue. Um, not even a baby blue, like a sky, sky blue material or color with a nice uh, um, pleather white stripe. And then it looks like this is all jersey material. And then we have some mesh on top of some pleather here. There's just so much textures going on. This is crazy. The detail in this small ass shirt. And then this is a back here that Velcros. And since I'm already here, I'm gonna move down to her beautiful skirt. This skirt, I'm assuming, is supposed to match the top here. So we have the same reoccurring colors, and it's very much like patchwork. The same thing that we saw on top of this this top here, we're seeing down here. It's very much patchworky. It's like a windbreaker material. If you guys can hear that. Um, and it looks like it's layered upon layer. So we have some ribbon here. And then we have like this light, like again, like a sky blue kind of material. And we have some stitching here. These are actual working pockets. That's pretty cool. And then we have this faux zipper with a little dangly thing here. And then we have these little, little things right here. I forget what they are called. Um, but they help like fasten things. So I think that's really cool that we have those details there. And then the whole back, it looks like she has this thick, she has like a thick waistband. And then, and the back here, she has that same li white lining, but then the rest of the skirt is like this dark blue, almost indigo blue. It's darker than her actual color, in my opinion. Um, because like her color is obviously cobalt, but she has like this kind of indigo blue. I think because she has like the purple in her hair. I think that's why they kind of gave her purple in her hair is to help go with this indigo color, which makes sense to me. Okay, I can forgive it. And then on the side here, we have these little straps that go from the front to the back um, just to give it more detail. All right, let's go ahead and get into her second outfit. So looking at the bottom here, we have just some... Um, they look like stitched or what is it like cross stitch but I like them I think they're really cool and these are her shoes here they kind of remind me I feel like we've seen them before at least the foundation or the idea of these they kind of oh I think they're backwards too let me fix them oh my god okay there we go that's a lot better so now that they're on the right foot here, you can see, you can tell because of the strap. You got to think to yourself, if you put these on, how would you put them on? How would they look? But we've seen this kind of before. I remember seeing this on Vanessa Temple, her like jean kind of pants. That's what I feel like they're giving off. They have very much street racing kind of influence here with the way that these stripes are handled, the name is written. Um, but I love the like the dark black uh, detail here on the heel. Um, uh, like on the sole right here and then they gave her like these black little dips on the bottom of her heel I love the detail in that they really went out on this I love the baby blue stripes and I love this kind of like it feels like she's there's like velcro on those straps and she that's how she puts them in she straps them on like that which is really really cute and then this is the back here it's a the sock is really thick um, so they don't close that well but I think you can't really tell and then this is how the inside of the shoe looks. Really adorable. I love these. They're super simple, but they go really well with the socks, in my opinion. Um, are they needed? I don't think so, but they look cool. Okay, so this is her second outfit. She came with a, a dress, like a mini skirt. Not a mini skirt, a mini dress, sort of. Um, and it looks like on the top here, it's doing the same thing as the other shoe where we're seeing the sides of, not, 
this this dress here sorry blah, 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 blah. this dress here is doing the same thing that her top did where it looks like it's um, made out of a shoe so we see the side of the shoe here the side of the shoe shoe here we see like the the lace or whatever but it's turned into her collar and I actually like this color a lot. This color is very cute. I love it so much. I love how this pleather kind of has like this reflective metallic kind of look to it or the sheen to it. Same thing with this one. Ugh, this one is gorgeous. And I love how this kind of falls down here. I don't know if that's supposed to be tied, to be honest. That is too small for me to even attempt to tie it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So this is the bottom here of the skirt. It's really disappointing. It looks hella bland. I feel like maybe it could have been shorter too, or maybe it could have been a potential for a two piece. Um, I just don't like, I think it's so bland. It kind of gives off like Flintstones kind of. I like the idea. I'm thinking that the second piece that's gonna go over the jacket is what's really gonna save it. And maybe that's why it's there, is it to keep it a little bit more balanced so you know, um there's just not too much going on but just by itself like even if we weren't gonna put anything else over it this is just so beautiful and it's just like okay but why do we have this on the bottom you know like did they just run out of time it definitely feels like they just ran out of time <laughs> you know and like that's it okay before i put it on her i want to show you how it looks like together this is this really cool motor jacket that came with her i love this jacket so much it definitely does give you like ah that's who she's supposed to be it gives off like um street racing motorbike racing like that's that's the kind of environment that coco is from is van der Bull, okay and i love it so much it's like this pleather jacket this race jacket and it's cool because we see like all these like um stitchings what are they called patches all these patches that we would see in like car racing like street car racing um with all their brands and stuff like that or their sponsors i think it's super cool and then we have these stripes where we have like the cobalt blue we have like this indigo or dark blue and then we have the white and it's just very very cute and then we have all these again these stitchings or patches like a NASCAR influence that is so adorable we have an 86 where it's supposed to have like the checkered flag and then we have more numbers here 86 R which is like another like kind of it's supposed to look like uh, sponsor patches and just like a big thing that says rainbow it would have been cooler if it said Coco or Van de Ball because it's her but whatever then we have a nice cute collar a very short collar all the way around and then we have some mock-up mock or fake zipper with an actual little thingy at the bottom here and then we have some little studs here i don't know what they're supposed to represent and then we have like these little the seam at the bottom here it's kind of hard to put down to kind of represent the bottom of the jacket so here is Coco Vanderbilt in her second outfit and um <laughs> I don't like it I don't like it okay so let me my thing my thing here my thing here I feel like she should have come the top great the jacket great she should have come with some leather plant pants some pleather pants because that is the style they should have done they should have very much committed to pleather pants, maybe some bell bottoms or some that was scrunched up at the bottom and given her some sneakers, okay? Maybe the heels are fine. Maybe that would have been cute too. We've seen that a lot in that kind of um, subculture. Um, cool. But I feel like they should have given her low waist or baggy pleather pants pants to really commit to it and a crop top. I guess that's just something that I gotta do for her. But this is very underwhelming the only thing I like is the jacket but I thought the jacket was just gonna maybe gonna be a little bit more oversized so it was gonna kind of fit in with the skirt but the skirt just looks too long it looks too it looks lame as that's all I can say and it's very disappointing because girl I love Coco I thought she was gonna be my favorite doll and like this second outfit sucks ass babe it sucks ass it sucks puro pinche culo and it's just 
it's just so unfortunate because she is such a beautiful doll she has such a beautiful hair and like this whole this whole fucking aesthetic this whole idea that we're going for her they did not meet that full potential they have asked this potential and i'm fucking pissed bro i'm pissed it's not that serious it's not that serious y'all but i'm still very mad like the accessories are great i love that her she came with sunglasses i love that she has those beautiful hoops mm -hmm. peak delicious amazing i love her brown eyes i love her makeup i love her face mold i love her lip coloring like um loved her first outfit love the color love the jacket love the top i love that they did that kind of like shoelace moto you know street streetcar kind of culture or aesthetic or whatever on her but the second outfit flopped flopped so hard in my opinion we'll just have to put her in her first outfit you know <laughs> and wash that nasty ass hair we gotta wash that hair bitch because they did her dirty they did my girl so dirty <laughs> so disappointed <laughs> but anyways y'all this was my unboxing and reviewing of the beautiful miss coco van der Bolt. she is the fifth yeah she's a fifth we're almost at the end she's the fifth one we have one more to unbox so i hope you stick around and you know review that or i hope you stick around and um watch and join me for that last one so until next time or until the other one whatever i'll see y'all later bye